Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. We got it. The final final reveals for um, Price of Power, Thanded Coup, uh, The Last of the Syndicate, and the final Neutral. Uh, the Neutral, I'm kind of unimpressed with. I was hoping for a Neutral scenario, but maybe that'll never happen. Who knows? Um, but uh, the Syndicate cards too that got revealed, I, I don't think either of them are going to see play, but We'll still go over them, um, and then the the card back for the new expansion. If if there was ever a time to jump on the bundle, this is the time. This card back is going to be sick. I it's it's I every time I say, oh, this one's going to be my permanent, you know, card back. They come up with something better. But um, uh, first, let's go over the syndicate cards. Uh, first up, uh, Ignatius Hale. Uh, I love the art on this with the dogs in the background. Um, so he's a 12 for 6 human witch hunter. Deploy. Damage this unit by its tribute cost. Tribute 9. Cancel deploy ability. <clears throat> Whenever you place a bounty on an enemy unit, reduce this unit's tribute cost by 1. So... Are you ever going to play nine bounties? No. I guess so you only have to get to like three for it to be a six for 12. I still think it's bad. Like people don't play Yuda, you know, outright. It's I, I look at this as like Yuda. It, it, maybe there'll be some fun hyper thin list you can run with it, but... I don't see it. I just, I don't see it. That's just me. Um, I mean, I guess if you get three bounties, it lowers it to six, so you just have to have six coins, and it drops. I don't know. It There's, there's that 12 that... Uh, Congregate runs that penitence of or whatever the one with the dudes whipping themselves and stuff I just I don't see it. I don't see it at all. I love this art though. This dude looks just oh There's another dog down here Yeah, this dude's a badass though. I love this art. He's all bloodied up his fists and stuff. Yeah Art's great card I don't think is going to see play. There's better things to play. And six provisions once again, just awkward. Um, and then the next one. Now this card's really interesting. Um, it's, and I guess you can run two of them so it would go t three times. So it's profit five. It's a special five provisions. Confession extractor. Um, profit 5 while in your graveyard damage an enemy unit by 1 whenever you place a bounty on it counter 3 so you get 3 damage out of it so it can play for a possible 8 points but sometimes like drill and stuff like that can get awkward with bounties and stuff like you, have, you over profit so if you have this in the graveyard you can just I wonder how, if it works at the end of turn, or if it's at the beginning of turn, or the instant you put bounty on something. Oh, whenever you place bounty on it. So you have to put the bounty on, and then it does the damage. So if you have two of these in a graveyard, it'll do two damage a turn. On top of the bounty, so if you play like a slander, you get the profit off of it. And then if you had two of these in the graveyard, it does two damage. Lowering it a little bit for you to possibly kill it. See, the thing is, is that once you put bounty on something, the... I think... I think this will fit good in line pockets for sure. Like, I'll play it with that list that I made. Now that I'm looking at how it works. Because you say you play Witchfinder, Witchfinder comes down, she 
puts the bounty on at the end of your turn and then it does two damage on whatever she put bounty on if they're both in the graveyard and it'll do it three times so you get three pings so that's I think this one's okay I think yeah I think this is a uh, five coins line pockets I'm I was wrong about this originally I think this one's gonna see some play because it you think about like even two say professor you hit for four if you got two of these in graveyard it can kill a six That's pretty good. I, th I, th I think this one's going to work out. Because it's just points that you don't have to worry about. You get the profit. So maybe that gets your boat out or something. And uh, if I'm reading the counter right, it, it should do it three times. So you should get three pings off each one. So I think this one's really good. Never mind. I was wrong. I like this card a lot. And then... Uh, the last one, this card, I, I really only see this being played in Skellige because they're the only ones that have multiple, I guess you could play it in Nilfgaard with Ball, but once again, it's six provisions. So it's a special spell, verification. Transform an artifact into an Elder Bear. If it's on your side of the battlefield, boost it by four. So it's a 10 for six. So it's basically a great sword, um, without the conditions. Yeah, I, I only see this being played in, in Skellige and Nilfgaard. Northern Realms, you don't really play the other scenarios. It doesn't really do anything for Scoia'tael or Syndicate, to be honest. Maybe Monsters, if you're playing like the two things in uh, Haunt uh, to me it only makes sense in Skellige for the most part but I could see it being a nerf card too weird card really the art's just everything about it's just weird <laughs> it's just weird I don't know I like it I think it's cool getting uh getting value off of a slot on your board that's just an artifact that's not doing anything for you seems like it's pretty good but i think you only run this in uh in skellige or uh milf guard cool card though um yeah that's uh that's the video i just wanted to real quick just if you haven't seen it already the card back for the Thanid coup, uh, which it it looks awesome, but I don't know how it really fits the theme of the Thanid coup. But I love this thing. I mean, it's incredible. I love Joker's. It's got like this Iron Maiden looking thing going on, where he's in the stockade. His fingers are all clamped up. There's fire. It's going to be animated. Ten out of ten on this one for sure. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know what you guys would like to see uh, tomorrow, day one on the build. Um, probably going to try Nilfgaard first. Um, maybe, maybe, depending on how good. It, eh, it, it depends, but maybe I might do line pockets, uh, something with the, the new cards, because I, I really like playing that line pockets list. I, I've done quite well with that one. Um, but uh, let me know what you guys would like to see or what you plan on building. Um, thank you so much for everything. I'll see you guys tomorrow for patch day. Oh, there might be two. Uh, I might do some draft uh, videos since it's like actually going to be live now. So we might have like one day for just draft. We'll see. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.